Here we have a volleyball court, which is 18 meters in length. Halfway is the net separating the two sides. The net is 2.4 meters high. The person serving stands at x initial equals zero and needs to hit the volleyball at least nine meters far at a final height of 2.45 meters high to make it over the net. The server will be myself and I serve the ball at two meters high. The average standing float serve hit is at 13.41 meters per second. With all this information, let's start solving some physics equations to figure out at what angle I need to hit the ball to make it over the net. At 9 meters, and an initial velocity of 13.41 meters per second, multiplied by time, plus our initial starting point of 0, the time it takes the ball to go 9 meters, is time equals to 0 0.67 seconds. With that, we can find our initial y velocity. The final y is 2.45 meters, which is equal to negative half of gravity times 0 0.67 seconds squared, plus initial velocity times 0 0.67 seconds, plus initial y of 2 meters. This gives us an initial y velocity of 3.96 meters per second. Now we'll find the final y velocity, which is equal to negative gravity times 0 0.67 seconds, plus initial velocity of 3.96 meters per second, equaling final y velocity of negative 2.606 meters per second. Lastly, we'll find the angle that I need to serve the volleyball. And with our x, initial x velocity and our initial y velocity, we can solve for that angle by taking the inverse of tan, the initial y velocity, divided by the initial x velocity, which gives us an angle of 16 degrees. So for me to make the most aggressive float serve, I should hit the volleyball at 2 meters high at an angle of 16 degrees with an x velocity of 13.41 meters per second and a y velocity of 3.96 meters per second.